Okay, friends, this is basically, this is week number four in the exercises. But the same format, Liz, works when we do weeks number five, six, and seven. We're just adding modifications. We're gonna start off with our abs. We're gonna do five minutes of abs. Then right from that, we're gonna go into our five minutes of lunges, praise the Lord. And then we're gonna finish off with our 10 minutes of our upper body with the rubber bands, okay? So we're gonna start off, we're getting down in our abdominal position, okay? All kinds of equipment happening. Remember, the first thing we need to do is getting our locked position. Let's just practice that for a second. Hands behind the neck, tuck the pelvis up, ribs go to the chest, okay? So we're gonna begin, you ready folks? Remember, this is gonna be five minutes, pace yourself. If you can't do it, you need to take a break, take a break. And remember, like in every time we exercise, don't always, don't push it past the point. If you're feeling dizzy or nauseous or anything like that, you need to stop. And before you do any exercise, any of the programs we do, make sure you consult your physician or your chiropractor to make sure that you're physically fit enough that there's nothing, there's not a problem with your heart or any joint in your body that's gonna cause a problem worse, okay? So remember, we gotta use wisdom whenever we do something, okay? Getting in shape, slow incremental changes over a long period of time. So Liz, let's begin. You ready? One, two, three, we're gonna contract it up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Down we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down we go. Okay, now remember folks, when you're contracting, you bring your muscles up, you count to that six seconds, and you bring it on down. You should make sure always when you come up that your pelvis is tight, and you keep on coming up, squeeze the belt in, and you come back down. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, down we go. Again, pelvis, ribs, one, two, three, four, five, six, down you go. Pelvis up, one, two, three, four, five, six, down you go. Keep on going, Liz. Remember, we tighten that pelvis, we're coming up. Make sure it's tight around your core and you come back down. Come back up, tighten that area up. I'm following, I'm following my body as it comes up, it's contracting it in and coming back down. Tighten those ribs up, okay? Make sure your legs are strong on the ground. Back down you go. Tighten it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, back down you go. Now, for those of you who want to do modifications, Liz, you keep on counting on the six. Some of the modifications that we're going to do. We could do some of the scissor modifications as we go along with it. Come back to that resting position, back down you go. Mix it back with the regular ones. Pelvis up, tilt it, count to that six. One, two, three, four, five, six, down you go. Pelvis, ribs, lock it in, count to six. One, two, three, four, five, six, down you go. Now remember, you should start feeling that contraction right in your abdominal area. Make sure the body is flat on the floor and you're coming up and down. Keep your neck straight, tighten those abs, keep your neck looking straight up to the ceiling and back down you go. Tighten it up, bring it up, make sure you count to six. If you have to cheat, try not to, okay? And back down you go. Remember, this is progressive. Tighten those abs, bring it up, make sure it's nice and tight and you're gonna feel the results later on. Come back down, you go. Liz, you keep on doing that pace. I'm gonna jump a couple of modifications in. Remember this one? Straight back and forth, okay? Tightening up those abs, the lower abs in that position. Get to that rest position. Back up, tighten those abs, count to six, come back down. Tighten it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, down you go. Tighten it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, down you go. Okay, I'm gonna bring this, this position, that little snow angel we were doing, okay? This is for some of the advanced ones. The regular, when you're at week number four, make sure you follow what Liz is doing. Don't jump into any of the advanced ones yet. Bring it back down, let it relax a second, okay? Bring it up, tighten those abs, one, two, three, four, five, let it go back down. Pelvis up, ribs up, one, two, three, four, five, Keep on bringing it down. Okay, tighten the abs, bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring it down. 
Keep on going. Liz, bring it up, tighten it up. Tighten that pelvis up, contract it down, bring it down. Pelvis tightens up, ribs come up, count to that six and bring it down. We keep on going. You gotta keep on pushing yourself. Sometimes you say, oh, I'm gonna fail. I'm, uh, I'm getting too weak. We just keep on pushing it. We keep on going through. Okay, now remember, if you're dizzy, like I mentioned before, you have to stop. But we're contracting our abs, going up and down. You get a nice rhythm, a nice beat, okay? We're gonna be doing this for five minutes. We keep on going, okay? I'm going back in that position myself, following Liz's pace. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back down we go. Again, tighten it up. Really contract those abs. Get that pelvis up and bring it back down. Get the pelvis up, the ribs up. Really feel that contraction and bring it back down. When you bring it back down, let your body relax for a second. Tighten the pelvis, bring the ribs, count to six, three, four, five, and bring it on down, okay? Keep on going. Ribs and pelvis, locking it together. Now remember, what we don't want to do, Liz, you keep on keeping that pace. But as you're watching Liz keep the pace, I want you to know a couple of things not to do. I don't want you to come all the way up. I don't want you to contract your, your hip, hip, hip flexor muscles. We just want to do that abdominal area. Now we got our five minutes done. We're jumping up, we're going into our lunges, okay? Now remember, we don't want to really take a break when we're doing this because we want to keep up our aerobic capacity. Now we're building into the lunges, okay? Down we go, make sure your legs are straight. And remember, we're gonna do this for 40 seconds. Just a nice steady pace. Bring it back. About it, you have your back straight, okay? Your stomach in, you bring it down. A nice even pace. Now, if you hear me start huffing and puffing, this is the exercise that you will huff and puff on. Remember, we were using these, these very large quadricep muscles. Come down, get your, get your pace going straight down. Try not to lean forward, okay? Don't lean back. We want to get a nice pace with this arm and your leg is straight down. You can see me from the side, you see Lizzie from the front, okay? We come down, 35, 40 seconds. You turn around, put your hands on your hips, take a deep breath in through your nose, suck it in. Bring it in, bring it in, and blow it out. And just rest. Allow yourself to breathe, get some oxygen in your system. We're gonna do this for like 20 second break in between. Okay, then we get right back into doing the lunges. Let's go, Lizzie. Straight down and back up. Straight down and back up. But you work at your pace, okay? If your pace is like this, then you work at that pace. But if your pace is at, like this, then you work at that pace. Remember, slow incremental changes over a long period of time. You go down and back up, down and back up. Now, if you're watching this, and, and we don't want to jump ahead, but if you're going into week number five, six, and seven, remember we had some other additions to this, okay? We can go down and across. We can go down and across, and we come back. You ready? 20 second breathe. Get that air in. Bring it in and blow it out. Suck it in through your nose, blow it out through your mouth, and just relax. Just allow your body just to recuperate, take a few minutes, oxygen in, and what else we're doing is this, is we're sort of interval training. So we're back in the exercise, right? We're coming back down. Every time we do this, your heart rate keeps on going up. This gets your heart rate up, okay? Heart rate goes up, when we take that 20 second break, it goes down, great for burning fat metabolism. We keep on going down and up. Make sure that leg is straight. That leg, that bending in the knee right here, that's straight. Now sometimes, when I'm dealing with some patients in the office, they have a tendency to stretch too far forward. I showed you that before. You don't want to do this. You may hurt your hip flexors in your groin area. Keep the steady pace. Keep it going down. Steady pace. Ready? 20 second break. Breathe in through the nose, blow it out through the mouth. You know, 20 seconds feels like a good 20 seconds. You know, it's like, wow, it's almost like a break. But then after a while, that 20 seconds goes like this. And next thing we're doing, more lunges. Here we go. Straight down and back. Straight down and back. Straight down and back. Don't sacrifice your form. Work on your form, okay? Don't be sloppy. Now, sometimes you may feel as you're going down a little wobbly. That's okay. Regain your balance. It also builds your core muscles, okay? 
going down and up, down and up. You know, some of the modifications, this is my favorite one, that plyometric one, you go down and bang into another one, boom, into another one. You really wanna work your, your lunges when you do that. 20 second break, I love it, ready? Breathe in and blow it out. I'm telling you, it's like breathing the Holy Ghost into your lungs and blowing it out. That's how you get a little revival. See, we're doing a little revival while we're actually exercising, okay? But you know what? <laughs> we're back to lunges again. My goodness, I never thought 20 minutes was so short until we do it this way. Now, when we get into our Gen Intensity program, I'm telling you, Lizzie, there are no 20 second breaks to it. You know, it's the illusion of it. I'm gonna give you 20 seconds, but it's only gonna be 10. But don't mind that I said that. Keep the form, we're going straight down, we're coming up, straight down, coming up, keep that back straight, tuck that belly in, coming down, following good format. Now, if you feel yourself getting a little weak, slow it down a little bit, but don't quit on me. We're ready? 20 second break, here we go. Breathing in and blow it out. Now this 20 second break, okay, we're finished with the lunges, but now we're gonna go into the upper body training. We gotta get our rubber band, okay? And the first one you wanna start with is your um, biceps, okay? So get the um, rubber band under your foot, or if you're using light weights, it's all the same, okay? A decent tension, and this pace, we all set? This pace is gonna be three seconds up, three seconds down, That'll give us six seconds, which will make 10 in a minute. So we're gonna do 10 of them, you ready? So I'll count the six part, you count the 10 part, just in case I forget. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And as you do this, just concentrate on the muscle that's being contracted. Just concentrate on the muscle itself being contracted. You're going up, nice and slow, bringing it down. Up, nice and slow, bringing it down. Now, if you did your lunges correctly, back down. What are we up to, Liz? Nine. That nine? And one more up, we come up, bang. Now, from here, we're going to go into our triceps. But what you're going to feel, notice we're not stopping. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just concentrate on those triceps, contracting. Bang, back in out back in one two three four five six one two three four five six now some folks you may be sweating right about now what you're sweating from is the lunges you're just catching up to you get it out make sure your abs are tight your butt get your knees in tight get those arms out back in okay we did 10 here we go we're going to go into shoulders get your body here let's not bang into our arms and we're going to go out ready one two three four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Concentrate on your shoulders using those deltoid muscles, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep that form. Keep that back tucked in, abdominal area tucked in, tight out like this. Good, we got 10. Okay, here we're gonna go right into our back exercise. We're going down, you get a good grip, pretty far down low, get the knees bent in, back, uh, abdominal area tucked in, bring it to the armpits. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep that back nice and sturdy. You'll feel the gluteal muscles uh, tightening up. You'll feel your quadriceps lightening up as you're keeping on going up like this into your armpit, hold it down, bring it up, tighten it up. Really feel that contraction right into your back. Push it into your back and you'll feel it, okay? Push it into that back. There you go, one more. Push it into your back and we come down. Now we go into the chest exercise. No breaks, no water breaks. <laughs> get it nice and tight around your chest. Spread your legs a little bit, bounce a little bit, get those abs tucked in. You ready, Lizzie? We're gonna go straight out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now some of the guys doing this, they may think they're too macho for this because there's not that much tension. Well, the bottom line is, you can come do it with us if you want. 
back and forth. Okay, back and forth. It's gonna build those muscles. You're also using your triceps on this. And believe it or not, if your legs aren't burning, then you're probably not doing the right posture. Okay, so what do we get? We got, we got our, um, our biceps, triceps, back, chest, and shoulders. That means we gotta start again. Okay, we're working on 20 minutes, folks. I'm jumping rope on my, my rubber band here. Okay, get a nice tension. Knee slightly bent, tuck that back in. Abs nice and strong, you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just concentrate on the muscles. Concentrate on that biceps going up. Take a look at it, watch it contract. Now some of you say, well, I got so much fat on my arms, big deal. If your arms are going up, if your arms are going up, then you're working out. We're working hard, bang, and back down. Really push that contraction back down. Bring it back. I'm doing one more, Lizzie, because I talked right through that one. Bang, I got my last one. I don't want to jip myself now, okay? We're back in this position, hands on the back area. We're doing triceps. Bang it out and come back. Like you're skiing for you folks who used to ski. You're coming in this position. Keep those legs tucked and bring it down. All these exercises are using your abs and your core muscles. Tuck it back out and in. Push it out there and back in. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, I love this exercise. Come on, one more. Is that 10? ten? I'm doing one more. I don't know why, I just feel like doing one more, okay? Next one, we're going to shoulders, okay? Get that tension going, okay? Lizzie's doing a great job. Dr. V's hanging in here, 51 on this tape. And by the way, as we do this, you really, Lizzie, I don't want to talk too much. We're, we're cranking it up, ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch your cadence so I can talk and do this. We're coming up and down. You see my shirt? It says DDIA. Now, if you can guess what DDIA means, I got a special prize for you, okay? Up and, up and, up and down it goes. Get those shoulders contracted, back down. Shoulders contracted, back down. So I feel good, my shoulders are feeling great right now. And back down. Push it out there and back down. Okay, I gotta do one more, back down. Okay, now where we're we going? Oh, we're going to the back muscles. All right, get a good grip in here. I wanna crank this one, Lizzie, I'm going way down. Okay, get them legs balanced right there. I'm bringing up to the elbow, I mean from the wrist to the armpits. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Now, if your back bothers you, you may want to stand up a little bit. But if it feels good, contract it up and go down. Contract it up and go down. Contract it up and go down. Keep that pace and go back down. Keep that pace and go back down. Keep that pace, go back down. We're going right into our chest exercise. Get it nice and tight. Coming down the home stretch for the 20 minutes, Liz. Bang those legs in, get a nice and strong stance, like nobody can knock you over. Standing on a solid rock, well this is solid wood, but I'm standing on a rock in the head, okay? We push it out, contract it, one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 This helps build your balance and everything. Push it back out, push it back out. 20 minutes, that's all it took. We're just working out 20 short minutes every single day. Get these 20 minutes in. You want to go to the gym? You can go to the gym. Do these 20 minutes first. Do them in the morning. I like the idea of doing it in the morning. We had, went to 20, the 20 minutes in doing it. Lizzie gets a high five. That little sweat, I notice a little sweat coming off you. Okay? And remember, now watch the beauty of this. We just did 20 minutes, both of us, in a space that's as big as an average bathroom. Okay, it's only but about eight by eight. We're in a small space. We did our abs, our lunges, our upper body. I feel great after doing this workout. Later on, I, I may go to the gym. I may do a little running. I'll play a little basketball. And this is what you have to do. Spend that 20 minutes. Be dedicated to that 20 minutes every day. You just saw it. We went through it from minute number one to minute number 20. Wasn't impossible. And as you get more proficient at it, you start throwing those additions in, those modifications in, and I'm telling you, you're gonna feel great. Every day, 
20 minutes. You're on my team. Ready? Let's go.